Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today I am so excited. I recreated and veganized some of my childhood favorites. Growing up, these are some of the foods that I ate quite often. Maybe like a, most likely, a more unhealthy version. But today I have pigs in a blanket, homemade mac and cheese that is so freaking creamy and these cuties bagel bites so cute and to drink i wanted to get like the barrel you know like i think there was like huggy maybe it's called hugs like the barrel juices that come in different colors but i couldn't find any um so minute made was another juice that my mom got for us quite often it seemed that way at least uh all right, with the burps already. Um, I was like staring at this juice for a good minute. I'm like, it's so fucking sugary. Like, I don't want to get it. And then we're gonna, like, you're gonna be obligated to drink it once it's in the house. So whatever. Treat yourself, you know. And this kind of so good. The tropical punch, so good. Sorry if you hear children in the background. It's that time of day. So I want to put, first I'm going to try the mac and cheese on its own, but I kind of want to add bacon bits. It just sounds so freaking good. So we're just going to go ahead and dive in with the mac. But first, here's a little, a little food porn action for you. And yes, the bagel bites do look a little burnt and crusty on the end, but I like it that way, so it's all good. All right, let's get in for a nice. Oh, these kids are gonna be the death of me, you know what? All right, a nice bite of the mac and cheese. First bite. So ooey and gooey and creamy. I'll leave a link down below of the recipe I used, but I did modify it a little bit, and it turned out oh, even creamier. Cheers. Mm. Remind me to never film at um five o'clock ever again. Is it even five? Four forty four. I love those bacon bits so much. My favorite kind of mac and cheese as a kid was always craft spirals, not the regular kind. Not like the elbow or like the straight macaroni, like the spiral noodles. I don't know why, but maybe it was a placebo effect or something, but they always tasted so much better. So freaking good. And then for the bagel, um, bagel bites. I would get the one with like mini pepperonis on it, but I couldn't um, find vegan pepperoni, so. Cheese will work. Mmm. Mmm. And then this is Light Life um, vegan hot dogs. with crescent rolls. So it needs ketchup. That was my favorite thing to dip it with and the only thing I would dip it with. But I also have some mustard that we're gonna try out. Just a little bit. Can you see? Yeah, you can see. All right, ketchup. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm. 
normally my mom would make like pigs in a blanket with you know whatever hot dogs she would usually get like cibrette or I don't even remember like the good hot dogs which they're all shit in my opinion but she would get the hot dogs and then the Pillsbury biscuits for the outside but I couldn't find the pack that she would always get so I have some like generic brand crescent rolls so I'm gonna try it with the um, ketchup and mustard Mmm. Mmm. Abby, don't you dare come up here. Don't you dare. We'll do one more bite of mac and cheese and then we'll try the bagel bites. So these mini bagels, so cute, are by the brand Thomas, and it's just the plain bagels. I toasted, um, I put it in the oven for a little bit to get them a little crispy, and then I added just some tomato sauce, seasonings, and this is the Daya mozzarella cheese, and also this is Daya cheddar. You know, Daya has been on a whole nother level lately. So damn good. And the formula, it's like so stretchy now, like actual cheese, it's crazy. Mmm. Oh, I seasoned this perfectly. Mm. Abby, can you get away? I'm gonna one bite it. Mmm. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. So damn good. I also have some Oreo cereal. I also have some Oreo cereal just in case I'm a little hungry for dessert. That was one of my favorites as a kid. Mm. These are my favorites. I'm gonna do a little tag. Like a get to know me tag. This is so good. Mm. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try the uh, pigs in a blanket with bacon. Mm. Ooh. I'm making a mess. Oh shit. Like, how does that not look so freaking good? Alright. I think I can do it in one bite. Mm. Mm -hmm. I'm not too close. Let me do a little closer. Mm. Okay. First question, this is a get to know me tag. Are you named after anyone? Um, no. My mom found my name on a Love Connection show and was like, that's a pretty name. I think I'm gonna name my daughter that. And here I am. Mm, do you have kids? If no, how many do you want? No, I don't have kids. But I do want three. Mm. I love this because mm. it reminds me of like when I used to eat bagel bites and I was too lazy to cook them in the oven. I would heat it in the microwave and it would be kind of like soft. So it's crunchy on the outside and like that softness in the middle. So good. 
Do you use sarcasm a lot? No, never, never. What is your eye color? Um, you tell me. <laughs> They're very, very dark brown. Scary movie or happy endings? Um, happy endings. Where were you born? I was born in Jamaica, Queens, New York. Yo. Like, can you believe this is all vegan? I just, I still can't. I can't. Mm. Mm. What's your zodiac sign? Eating with my mouthful. What's your zodiac sign? Do you believe in it? Um, my zodiac is a Leo. And of course, I definitely believe in zodiacs, horoscopes, astrology. I read my horoscope every day. And yeah, I definitely believe in it. Mm. Do you have Do you have any siblings? Mm. Yes, I have two sisters and one brother. One sister's older, another sister's younger, and my brother's younger. He's the youngest. He's the one that was in a couple of my videos back. I think my sister was too. Mm. One of the question was, what's, what are your favorite smells? Um, I mean, they rain so much. What I'm wearing right now from Bath and Body Works is the stress relief eucalyptus spearmint mm. i use a body wash then pair it with a body cream the best i like the smell of fresh baked cookies i love the smell of garlic and onion cooking mm. i love the smell of freshly cut lawn grass like i love the smell of christmas tree Ooh, you can't even see christmas tree uh um uh, wow a bunch of different food smells like scents i love indian food like ugh. um i just love like the smell when it's raining just a bunch of different smells you know you can't just choose one you just can't What is the least favorite thing about yourself? Um, probably my lack of patience. I'm very impatient. Um, what was your favorite slash worst subject in high school? My favorite, if you don't count recess or, I mean, PE or lunch. Um probably maybe science but I didn't like science any more than any other class but I definitely didn't like math like no way what would you or have you name your children that's a secret who are some of your favorite youtubers um I like a few different I I just need to like make sure I'm filming because the other day it just cut off on me like randomly um 
I love a few mukbangers. Madison mukbang. I like, um, there's this new girl I've been watching who I like. I'm not sure. Um, Lexi Babe. I like watching David Dobrik's vlogs. Um, oh, jeez. Why am I, like, drawing a blank now? I like watching, um, <clears throat> Damn, what is her? Oh, I have my phone in my hand. I can just look. Wow. That's sad. Veggie Rose, because I get a lot of inspiration, like food inspiration from her. James Charles. Vegan Bodega Cat. I have a bunch. I just watch, you know. Whatever videos are new, I kind of just like binge watch all the new ones, but those are some, some of my faves. Um, three things that make you happy. Family, food, and animals. I think that that was way too easy to answer. Um, tell us one of your bad habits. I bite my nails a lot and I freaking hate it. I complain a lot. Mainly at home, so sorry, babe. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, yep. Um, mm. are you left or right handed? Left, baby. Do you consider yourself a good cook? Um, I didn't really cook all of, you know, like. Things in the blanket and the pizza bagels. I kind of just put things together. I did cook the cheese for the pasta. And I have been cooking every night lately. I would say yeah. I would say yeah, I am. Ooh. If money were no object, what would you get for your... What would you get for your next birthday? If money were no object? Um... Well, it would have to be, like, something material, I guess. Um, a house. Hello. That's our next big, um, purchase. If you could live anywhere in the world, where would it be? <clears throat> um, the U.S., if not in Florida, then um, I don't know. Like, I want to say California, but I don't because the wildfires, the earthquakes, like, no. I mean, I, I love living in Florida. Maybe Hawaii, but I don't know. I'm not sure. One word that describes you. I don't know. <laughs> One word, I have no idea. What would be one word that describes me? Oh, my foot fell asleep. Like, huh? Like, amazing. <laughs> amazing. I think that's too cocky coming from me. Thank you. How would you describe your fashion sense? I wear whatever's comfortable. I don't care about brand names or not. Mmm. What sports do you play or have you played? 
I have played soccer. And that's about it. I don't play sports. What is your favorite drink? My favorite drink is water. There's nothing like a good old glass of ice cold water. How tall are you? I am 5'9". If you were another person, would you be a friend of yourself? Yeah. Of course. Alright, all the other questions are kind of like bologna sandwich bogus. So I'm not going to ask them. I'm not going to ask them to myself. Mmm, this was so freaking good. I definitely don't have room for the Oreo cereal. Might have to wait for another mukbang to do. Mmm. Mmm, Question of the day is, what were some of your favorite childhood foods and or drinks? I am so full now. Holy crap. But I damn sure made sure I cooked a lot of mac and cheese so we had leftovers. And we definitely do. Uh all right that was amazing and um i hope you guys enjoyed today's video hopefully you got to learn a little more about me if you haven't already and um if you have any suggestions on another a different kind of video you would want me to do mukbang whatever leave them down below i'm always open for some suggestions and video ideas but I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I hope you have a great day or night wherever you are in this lovely world and I will see you very soon. Bye!